we believe, you know, through our teachings from, from our mentor of Bitten, that we have magical brains. Because in the caveman days, in the primal era, era you know what? We'd be the ones that say, oh, it's berry season, let's go out and get it. Or, oh, we're hungry, we got to go get an antelope or a saber-toothed tiger. And we'd be out there taking care of ourselves. We would be the ones to survive. We would absolutely be the ones to survive. And everybody else would be left behind. So I think we are very special people. And that's how we approach this, is we are very special people. But our brains have been hijacked. Because you know what? What happens is, with addiction, there's the ism. You know, food, for, in my opinion, and I think our opinion, is only, it, when you start out, food is 90 to 100% of the problem. I mean, that's why clients come to us. They want to lose weight. They want to, they want to get healthy. It's the food, the food, the food, the food, everybody. And, and I have to tell you, when we do a five day crush your cravings challenge, we don't talk about food till the fourth day because it's not, believe it or not, it's not that important, even though it's important to everybody. Okay. Once you get the food down, the food becomes only five to 10% of the problem. And then I was left with Judy. I was left with this person who always, you know, when I had a feeling, somebody looked at me the wrong way, you said something to me that was wrong. Guess what? My hand, I call it the hand to, to mouth disease. My hand looked for food, put it in my mouth so I could numb out because I didn't want to feel any of those feelings. And I do believe when I feel anything, like if something goes wrong and, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a perfect human being. I make mistakes. I feel it first in my gut. I, I goes, and I know that's my first feeling. And I have this hole in my gut that will never, ever be filled with food. I have to fill it with so many other things. I have to fill it with figuring out who Judy is, 